Welcome to Electron Line. Now you've begun to realize, probably, that drawing some of these organic molecules can take a very long time because they contain a lot of atoms. For example, when we take 2-methylbutane, butane means we have a chain of four carbons that forms butane, and there's a methyl functional group attached to the second carbon. So here we have the second carbon, and there's a methyl functional group attached there. So if we want to draw out all the carbons and all the hydrogens, then yes, there's a total of five carbons and five times two plus two, that would be 12 hydrogens. So the general formula for an alkane would be C to the C sub n, H sub two n plus two. So for five carbons, there would be 10 plus two or 12 hydrogens. Well, you can make it a little bit simpler by taking the functional group and write it as a functional group CH3 instead of writing the C and the three H's like that. That makes it a little bit easier. Or to make it simpler yet and faster to draw the whole molecule, you can simply take each functional group separately like this or each portion of the chain separately. You take the first portion, the second portion, you can show the carbon here with the hydrogen attached on one side, one side and the methyl functional group on the other side, then the carbon with the two hydrogens, and then the carbon with the three hydrogens. Note, however, that the, the one in the front, you write the hydrogens first and then the carbon because you want to draw it from left to right. So the hydrogen first, then the carbon. Here you have the carbon with the two attachments. Then you have the carbon with the two hydrogens and the carbon with the three hydrogens. So this is a much easier and faster way to write the molecule than to write it like this. And then ultimately, to make it very fast and very simple, you can simply draw it like this. Each corner represents a carbon, so a carbon here, a carbon there, a carbon there, and a carbon there. That's a total of four carbons in the chain. We're assuming that every available spot, it has hydrogens on it. And here, there's another carbon attached over here to this carbon with a single bond. So you assume three hydrogens there. Since this has three bonds, it would be a single hydrogen here. Here, you'd have three hydrogens. Here you already have a bond, so that means only two hydrogens here and three hydrogens there. So you can write the molecule in a very simplistic manner like that. Or if you feel better about writing it like this, you can in the chain indicate a little dot as there being a carbon atom. So we have the functional group attached to a four carbon chain. A four carbon chain is called butane. The functional group would be a single carbon and three hydrogens, which is the methyl functional group and two indicating it's attached to the second carbon. So you can see there's various ways in which you can represent the very same molecule. This takes a whole lot of work, and so people tend to go ahead and typically use this notation or this notation to make it a lot simpler and faster to draw the molecules. And so that's how you can see how there's a different ways in presenting it, and so don't get confused, they all exactly mean the same molecule. In this case, it's 2-methylbutane, and that's how it's done.